friends, this is Aunt Jenny, and I have a wonderful story for you. Are you ready to say the Bible? Yes! Okay, before we start, let's pray. Dear Jesus, please be with us as we study the Bible. Help us to be good listeners and learn a lot. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Our story comes from Daniel chapter 1. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon destroyed Jerusalem and the kingdom of Judah. He took many people captives. Among the captives were Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. King Nebuchadnezzar asked Ashpenaz to choose young men who he could train in his court. These men would be treated very special. They would be given food from the king's table and wine. The only problem was this food was not healthy. It was not the kind of food that the Israelites like to eat. The, the meat had been sacrificed to idols, and God had told them not to eat unclean meats. And they would not drink the king's wine because that wine was intoxicating. It was like the alcohol we have today. They didn't know what they were going to do. So they went to Melzar and they asked Melzar if he would give them poles to eat and water to drink. Poles is like beans and grains and vegetables and fruits. The, um, Melzar said, oh, I don't think so. If, if the king should look at you and see that you look sick, he would, he would take off my head because that is not the way to treat his wise men. And Daniel and his friends said, please try us for 10 days and then we'll see. He said, okay, but only for 10 days. He commanded that they be served fruit, grains, and vegetables and only water to drink. And after the 10 days, it was found that they were fairer and fatter than all the other wise men. At the end of the three years of their education, the king tested them and found they were 10 times wiser than all the wise men of Babylon. God had blessed them because they had decided that they would obey what God says for diet. And God will bless us too when we decide, when we purpose in our hearts to be like Daniel and his three friends and obey everything that God says. Do you want to obey what God says? Yeah. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us. Dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful Bible story. Thank you that you helped Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah to follow what you have said, asked them to do. Help us today that we will honor you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Did you like our story? Yeah. Please give us a like and share it with our friends. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.